Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we are joined by Pro Jared and Power Dragon, and each player has brought a deck with a Planeswalker Commander. As always, big thank you to our sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., EDH Rec, and Dragon Shield, but more on them at the end of the video. That's enough from us for now. Let's meet the players. Hi, my name is Pro Jared, YouTuber and Twitch streamer, also a top 30 player in Arena Championship 1. Today I'll be playing Amanatu, the Fate Shifter. My entire plan today is going to be blinking stuff with Amanatu and pretty much everything else in the deck. Lots of a powerful enter the battlefield effects. I'm looking for a three mana to fairy, five mana to fairy. I'm looking for agents of treachery, but I can also set myself up with some miracles thanks to Amanatu, like temporal mastery. What's up, everybody? I'm Daquan, otherwise known as Power Dragon, and today we're looking at playing Sahili, the Gifted. Now, we're going to be trying to make a lot of tokens, but also drawing a lot of cards. And if we get our Jorah, Weatherlight Captain, along with our Niv-Mizzet Perrin, we're going to get a lot of stuff going like a Rube Goldberg machine of cards and damage that should hopefully take out the table. Hi, I'm Veggie Wagon, and my Planeswalker Commander is Grist the Hunger Tide. Grist is really weird. Sometimes it's a creature, sometimes it's a Planeswalker. I'm going to be trying to use effects like Foot Bottom Feast to put as many insects on the top of my library as possible, turning those into insects on the battlefield, and then running over my opponents with cards like Triumph of the Hordes. Hello everybody, my name is Minsk, and today my friend Boo and I are here to play some big idiots. We're going to dominate the board very early, and then when we're done, we'll throw those big idiots at our opponents. Before we get into the gameplay, we'd like to take a minute to thank our patrons. Without your support, this content wouldn't be possible. And if you'd like to be a part of the show, head on over to our Patreon, where you can get signed tokens from the cast and crew, join us for some spell table games, and even submit deck lists for us to play here on the channel. And of course, you can always support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. But I think it's time to head to the game. You guys ready to see who goes first? Let's do it. Yep. Let's go. 11. 19. No! <laughs> I thought this was, I've you never, were close. I don't know if I've ever close. won a die roll on this show. <laughs> I don't think I have. I'm gonna enjoy it while I can, because it's all I, downhill I thought, from here. I thought I had it. <laughs> all right, uh, nothing, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna play a uh, Mystic Sanctuary. Just that, that's my turn. Okay. All right, let's play a Command Tower. I'll go ahead and use it for a green for a land war elf. Little ramp ramp. It's like almost a soul ring. And then I'll pass the turn. My opening hand only has two lands in it, but I've got two mana dorks. So I feel like this will be enough to hold me over till I can draw some lands. I will play a Path of Ancestry and pass. All right, play a mountain. And we're gonna play a Pyrite Spellbomb. I can sack it to deal two, or I can sack it to draw a card and I'll pass. All right. Doesn't look like a pirate at all. Uh, so this is an island, which means I can play a Drowned Catacomb untapped. Tap that for black to play a Baleful Strix. Mm. Just get a 1-1 Flying Death Toucher plus another card. Thank you much. My turn is done. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and play my forest. All right. I'm going to pay two for an Elysian Carotid, uh, a little 1-1 plant that can tap for one mana of any color. But if I have a creature with four power or greater, it taps for two. And then you know what? We're gonna make Veggie, my lovely co-host, please take a point of damage. Thank you, I would love to. Um, can, can you get that phone down there? <laughs> we forgot, oh, and by right. we, I mean me, because that was my job. Just a little boop, a little, a little yeah. snoop boop. And then I'm gonna pass my turn. Okay, I will play a forest, tap two for an arcane signet, and I'll tap one for a skull clamp. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Equipped Creature gets plus one, minus one. Uh, but when it dies, I draw two cards. Certainly a fair and balanced magic card. It only equips for one. And pass. It's totally fair. <clears throat> uh, we're going to play an island and make a Reckless Fire Weaver. Whenever I have an artifact on the battlefield, under my control, Reckless Fire Weaver deals one damage to each opponent. And uh, I will pass. Mm, I see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Some uh, scary stuff. There's uh, nothing to see here. All right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Understood. Wait, no, it's right there. <laughs> all right. We'll get a glacial fortress down. I'm gonna. I will do some combat first. Let's send in one flyer over at Power Dragon. That seems totally fair. Yeah, yeah. You're already putting down threats. All right, team. This side of the board. <laughs> yeah, Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, and then I have. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have to have this. <laughs> you then, tell me you're a bad teammate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I have two to play my own arcane signet. 
which I'll also use right away so I can cast my Charming Prince mm. so that I can exile my <gasps> Bale from Strix. Oh, oh, nice. Go down step, let it come back in, and I'll draw a card. Wow. Overpowered. <laughs> the value. Oh, this has only just begun. <laughs> Let's go here, and we're going to draw a card and hope I hit a land, which I did not. Oops. <laughs> hmm. I guess. You already have four mana. Yeah, How I, can right? you be upset yeah, right hold now? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and play a Fertile Ground. Whenever the Enchanted Land taps for mana, it adds one mana of any color to my pool as well. So we're going to put that onto the forest. So you had right. mana in your hand the whole right. time. That's <laughs> but, but not really. Not real manas. Uh, and then we're going to tap three. Uh, two you mean two and one fake mana? Yeah, one fake mm -hmm. mana. <laughs> yeah. And we are going to cast Mouth. It is a sorcery that creates a 3-3 three, three hippo creature token. And it also has Aftermath, which allows me to draw some cards. The cutest hippo token oh. ever oh, is coming into play. God. And if anybody would like some hugs... That's Happy not to fair. Provide. I can't block a thing that's asking for hugs. So I'll pass the turn to Veggie. Play a Pendle Haven. It's a legendary land. Attached to green, and you can tap to give a one-one creature plus one plus two until end of turn. Tap one, two, three. Grist, the Hunger Tide. This is my commander, and it is my commander because as long as it isn't on the battlefield, it's also a one-one insect creature. And then I mill a card. If the card milled was an insect, I put a loyalty counter on it and do another mill and repeat until I hit a non-insect. I can minus two to sack a creature and destroy another creature or planeswalker. And then I can minus five. Each opponent loses life equal to the number of creatures in my graveyard. So we're going to start off with a, with a plus. We're going to see if we can hit an insect here. So I'll bring it up to four. Top card is... Vorpede. Um, that is an insect, so I'm going to make a 1-1 one, one insect. He's okay. so cute. Yeah. I get to put a loyalty on Grist, so up to five now, and I do this again. Next card is <laughs> Phantom Nantuko. Uh, also an insect. It is an insect. So <gasps> this goes up to- He just keeps getting loyalty off it too? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've ever hit like more than one in a row. This is our next card. No! <laughs> Stop. It's All right. No ahead, advocate. Uh, also an insect. So that's up to seven and three insects. We're going to do it again. Do we have... Okay. All right. We're good. This is Grave Purge. It's an instant that lets me put any number of creatures from my graveyard on top of my library, um, which is not a thing you should worry about, but not an insect, so I do not repeat the process. And it's only three. Three is pretty good. Only three. Yeah. I, only my Planeswalker that immediately went up to seven. With my final one mana, I'll pay one and Skull Clamp an insect so I can draw two cards. Then I will pass a turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was feeling pretty good about where I was. <laughs> This is supposed to be this is supposed to be the meme deck. Well, I didn't draw a land, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack this to draw a card and see if that's a land. It was. Yay yeah, us. Yes. Must be nice. <laughs> You have <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything but the hippo on your board. I'll, I'll trade man. you. <laughs> I think the only extra thing I can do here that doesn't really do anything is I'm going to play a Mox Opal because I don't have Metalcraft yet. But I do get to do one damage to everybody. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. I think that's going to be it. I pass. I want to get rid of that bug guy. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about I, it. I think you should poke it at least. I should poke it. I will try to help with okay. that poke. I have yeah. no objections to this action. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> That's all I needed from you, team. <laughs> I, I will also hug it on my turn. Oh, fantastic. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to do combat first. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to send the squad over at Grist here because that is trouble. How important are those bugs to you? I'll get him back. I will block with one insect okay. on your 2-2. Two -two. All right, so I'll get in for one on Grist. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Uh, I have a Rafine's Tower that will come into play tapped. And then I'm going to tap four. I'm going to play the Feldar Guardian. When there's the battlefield, I could do exile permanent mm -hmm. on my control, bring around back. I'm mm -hmm. going to do the Charming Prince. With the Charming Prince, I'm going to exile the Baleful Strix. I'm going to go to my end step. <laughs> I'll put back the Baleful Strix, and I'll draw a card. Wow. Must. Wow. Okay. Concerned. All that to deal Planeswalker one damage. Woo! So what, what is the other ability, the middle one? Uh, sack a creature, destroy another creature, or Planeswalker. Oh, gross. I do not like that. And how much is it to minus? Two. That makes my decision for me. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can't let that live. 
we are going to cast a Storm Breath Dragon. Ooh. This is a flying haste protection from white, and then I can also pay five to monstrous oh. it. It gets plus three, plus three when it gets monstrous, and when it becomes monstrous, it deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. Don't worry, I'm not doing that anytime soon, but it is gonna go into the red zone attack Gris, and I'm gonna, the hippo is coming across too, because mm -hmm. we're just gonna make sure that insect doesn't do insect scary things. But this way Gris will die if you don't wanna waste your insect. Yeah, no, I'm totally blocking with the insect. Okay. Uh, so Gris takes four. Yep. It's down to two. I can't, st I don't think I've ever had Gris be an actual threat. Like, <laughs> not a threat to anybody. Gris is finally having a moment where he's like, is this what it's like to be popular? <laughs> Literally uh, just a bunch of insects in a trench coat. <laughs> like uh, the bo Oogie Boogie Man. Yeah. Will that be all? That'll be my turn. All right. All right, Chris, we're going to need another big turn. I'm going to play a Terramorphic Expanse, and then I'm going to immediately tap and sacrifice it to search for a basic land and put that on the battlefield. You know, thin the deck out a little bit, make sure there's a, a higher ratio of uh, of insects. So hitting three more insects in a row? Mm-hmm. Put a swamp in. It usually doesn't go well with this deck, and it makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I am shuffling so much because then I'm also going to pay uh, one, two, three, four, cultivate. Uh, to, yeah, to search for two more basic lands, put one on the battlefield and one in my hand. Let's grab another swamp onto the battlefield and a forest into my hand. All right. The deck has been thinned. And now you're going to hit all the insects. Now we're going to hit all the insects. Spin the wheel, baby. Plus one. Land. 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 Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. It's a whiff. Uh, I will make one insect um, from the ability itself, uh, but Feldon's Cane is not an insect. It just goes to my graveyard. I don't think one insect is going to do it, I, but I got a full hand. I, there's no reason for me to, to skull clamp that. I will pass. I'm Vigi. I have a full hand. <laughs> <laughs> More land. We're doing it, team. Which is actually exactly what I need to cast. So he leaves, so let's go ahead and do that. Plus ones to make a servo. I can also plus one to make my next spell cheaper for the number of artifacts I have, or I can minus seven to copy all my tokens and they'll have haste. And then they die at the end of turn. But for now, we're just gonna make a servo and she starts at four, we're gonna go up to five. Everybody takes an additional one from the reckless fire weaver. I have been booped. All right, that's all I've got. You know, for as much crap I've been giving veggies stupid insects, you've been doing the most damage with just your little artifact pings. That's mm. fair. I'm just bugging and hugging. He's oh, bugging you don't out. Get a free pass. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't misunderstand. Yeah, I, I like I like my current plan quite a lot. Okay. Uh, do you have a shattered sanctum, veggie? The team to to grist. I should say. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll give Grist a chance. I will block your 2-2 <laughs> two, two with my insect, and uh, it'll take two. And then what I shall do is I'm going to actually bust out my Planeswalker, Aminatu. She comes in three uh, loyalty, and her plus one allows her me to draw a card, but then I put a card back on top of my deck. Her minus one allows me to exile another permanent I control, and then to put it back onto the battlefield. Her minus six is choose left or right. Each player gains control of all the non-land permanents other than Aminatu, controlled by the player next chosen in this direction. <laughs> Someone's going to end up with insects. <laughs> you know, that's Wait, not a bad deal for me right now. Whatever Either. direction I want. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so, by the way. I don't want insects. <laughs> uh, but I am actually going to minus one her to do the blinky effect, blinking the fellow dog guardian. Enter in, comes on right back. I'm going to blink the charming prince, comes right back, and I'll go blink the baleful strix. Doesn't come back until my end step. <laughs> Go to my end step, uh, and I'll bring around back, and I'll draw another card. <laughs> that thing's already drawn four cards mm -hmm. or whatever. That is, that is too many cards. Thanks to the Strix. It's the same amount as Veggie. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I'm I'm concerned. I'm Veggie. I don't get it. <laughs> Three, four, five. We're going to play Xenagos, God of Rebels. Ooh. It's indestructible. It's only a creature if I have seven loyalty to red and green, which I do exactly. And then it says at the beginning of combat, target creature gets plus X plus X, uh, where X is its power, and it also gets trample yep. and haste. I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you just dropped a Xenagos and you're concerned? Well, this is this deck oh, is scary. Charlie. This deck is so scary. 
Um, and I'm scared of that. I'm scared of everything of what's happening. I don't know why she's hesitating. I know that Hippo's coming for me at the very least, which I kind of hope it does because I'm all ready for it. Okay, I'm going to go into my combat. I'm going to use the Xenagos to pump up the Hippo. It's now a 6-6 six, six with Trample. Um, the Hippo is what is going to go into Aminatu, and we're going to use the Storm Breath Dragon to go in after the Sahili. I just want to keep oh, the no. Planeswalkers under control. Totally fair. Okay, so this Hippo's a... 6-6 six, six, Trample. 6-6 six, six, Trample. <laughs> It's it's a bear hug. Yeah, and hippos hug with their mouths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll say no blocks. I will also just be taking four on Sahili. Well, here. I got things oh. I want to do before damage. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh I, 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 I was going to do nothing. I just said I'm not blocking. I mean, block. I technically have imaginary mana. I can't tap. That's sure. all I got. So uh, I'm actually going to pay three for Teferi's protection. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Well, it. that protects you. <laughs> I was never here. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And then uh, oh. the damage will resolve for Sahili. Yep. And that is the end of my turn. I mean, I, was, I would be survived. happy to skip your turn. Just move on. Mm, I don't know. I think it, I think we, the board could use some more bugs. I'm going to play Swamp. Um, I just have one, two, three, four, five, six. Dreadhound. It's a mm. six, six. When it enters the battlefield, I mill three cards. And then whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from a library, each opponent loses one life. That card's insane. Oh. Many limited games I've won with that. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so here's the mill three. Swamp, Kodama's Reach, and a Nantuko Vigilante. Everyone will lose one life. And then... Uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not here. <clears throat> oh, that's right. oh, <laughs> I am phased out, and my life cannot be changed. Go forth with your plan. Whatever your plan is, I love it. Yeah, hey, yeah this yeah. sounds great. Uh, you should plus one. <laughs> that's a great idea. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Plus one. You know what? All right, so I make here an we insect. <laughs> We're going to mill one. Genesis, uh, actually one of the few creatures in here that is not an insect, uh, but relevant that it's in my graveyard because mm -hmm. at the beginning of my upkeep, if Genesis is in your graveyard, you can pay three. And if you do, I will return a creature card from my graveyard to my hand. And we both lost one and from the hound. And you each lose yeah. one from the hound. I do think now we're going to skull clamp this insect. I'm going to draw two cards. And then when the token dies, you will still lose another life from Dreadhound. Okay. And I'll pass. Good news, we're continuing to find lands. Let's go ahead and plus one. So we'll go to two, and we're going to make another servo, which does mean that I now can actually make mana from that because I have three artifacts. Hey, and also what, we'll take a damage? <laughs> That's true, you do take damage from the fire weaver. Not and, you, though. Yeah, not yet. Oh, I'm not even here. You it, just like put like a, just like a white square here. <laughs> In the dictionary, under smug, it's just his photo. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can't see my smug face because I'm not even here. Oh, what do I want to do? All right. We're going to pay three. We're going to play a Tribute Mage. It's a 2-2. Two -two. And when it enters the battlefield, I can search my library for an artifact that costs two. <laughs> I think I'm just going to get an Arcane Signet and put All that right. in hand. Play the Arcane Signet. Dealing another point of damage from the Fire Weaver. I think that's just going to be it for my turn. <laughs> oh, hey, what happened? I had to go take a call. Did I miss anything? <laughs> that's because I had a friend looking for directions. His name's Teferi. So I will be, his plus one is I get to draw a card, and at the beginning of my Next end step, I could untap two lands. Minus three allows me to put any non-land permanent onto that owner's library, third from the top, my own or yours. Mm -hmm. And should I get them to eight, I can minus eight them that says anytime I draw a card, exile target permanent and opponent controls, which is bonkers. Ah, oh, that seems yeah. pretty weak. So I'm actually going to just plus one them to draw a card. I'm actually going to say no attacks and just go to the end step. Okay. Wait, we're not blinking anything this time? Well, I know. I just, uh, if, oh, well, I, I guess I do have an Amanadu activation still. Mm -hmm. uh, what is wrong with you, Power Dragon? Yeah. Hey, we just got to check everything. I'm actually going to plus one Amanadu. So I'm going to draw another card, but I have to put another card from my hand on the top of my library. Oh, we'll put that one back. You have so many cards. <laughs> yeah, no attacks, though, so I'll go to end step. Uh, I'll untap uh, Rafine's Tower and a Drowned Catacomb. And that's my turn. Oh, man. Power Dragon, I thought we had an understanding. Oh, I can't contribute still. 
<laughs> I am aware. I'm going to go ahead and tap for four, and I'm going to cast Feed, the aftermath side of uh, Mouth and Feed, which allows me to draw cards equal to the number of creatures that are uh, three or greater power, which is three currently, because Xenagos yep. is indeed a creature. Xenagos is live. One, two, and three. If I don't hit a third land off this, <laughs> I will flip the table. Okay, we did. Oh, we got one. That's great. I didn't really want to start this game over. There was a big part of me that was hoping she wouldn't miss it. I kind of wanted to see the table go right. over. <laughs> you guys are so mean. I'm having a strobe light party. That's all I'm doing. Just yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put plus on the hippo, plus three, plus three, and we're going to send the hippo and Xenagos over mm. to Teferi. Mm. I okay. hate Teferi. <laughs> <laughs> I really want it to die. I guess before blocks, I'll be spending the rest of my mana. Uh, Teferi's driver was the Wandering Emperor. Oh um, my gosh. Mm. So the Wandering Emperor does have flash, so I get mm -hmm. to cast her at instant speed. And she comes in with three loyalty. And so long as she has entered this turn, that means I can activate her right away, which I'm going to do. Her plus one is just give something a plus one, plus one creature, a plus one, plus one counter. But it also gives it first strike until end of turn. Minus one, it makes a two, two white samurai creature token with vigilance. Or I can minus two her to uh, exile a tapped target creature, hmm. which gives me a lot of options. It sure does. But I think I actually like plus oneing her to give a plus one, plus one counter to my Baleful Strix. So now this is a 2-2 two, two flying death touch with first strike until end of turn. Ouch. I'm gonna throw Baleful Strix with the first strike in front of your hippo. Mm -hmm. You ever see an owl eat a hippo? Cause you're about to. Dude, I'll put the Charming Prince in front of Xenagos. Okay, so the hippo's gonna die with no trample damage. Unfortunate, he just wanted hugs. And Xenagos will eat the one creature. Excellent. A and since two creatures died, Dreadhound will trigger twice, so you all will lose two life. Oh, it's every creature. That's going to get right. really tough. It is. Uh, okay. That's tough. <laughs> Sorry, gang. Okay, Power Dragon, I'm not going to lie. I need you to do something. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> all right, because this is a problem. I mean, the only thing I can do, you probably wouldn't like, so I'm probably not going to do it. <laughs> do you want to come to the strobe light party? <laughs> 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 we, we might be too small to get into the party. All right, we're going to tap the carotid for two and a mountain for a Rhythm of the Wild, which makes my creature spells non, not counterable. It also gives non-token creatures Riot, which lets them either have a plus one, plus one counter or haste. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I'm going to have to pass the turn. Okay. I will play Forest. Hmm. I forgot my Genesis trigger, and I will not do that again. I'll put it right there so I don't forget. This game is kind of gross. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm wondering. There is quite the selection of planeswalkers. Uh, yeah, like they, to attack them. They have, they've not honestly caused me a lot of trouble. Plus one. I'm going to make an insect. And then we're going to mill. Oh, well, that's an astronaut's altar. Certainly not an insect uh, and not something I want in the graveyard. Then I'll also pay... One, to Skull Clamp the Insect, to draw two cards. And we lose a life from Dreadhound every time a creature yeah. dies or when it goes to the graveyard? Every time a creature dies. So yeah, that's uh, one more for okay. y'all. Yep. And I think this will hopefully buy me some time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Hornet Queen. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a 2 2 flyer with death touch. And when it enters the battlefield, I put four 1 1 green insects with flying and death touch onto the battlefield. Oh boy. There we go. I think. <laughs> I think I can just hang out here. I'm, I'm feeling all right. I will pass the turn. I do need to discard Caustic Wasps. Such problems. All right, let's see what we can do. I want to make stuff cheaper. So I'm going to go plus one. So we're going to go to three. And everything's going to be one, two, or the next spell is two, three, four mana less. Oh, no. Well, unfortunately, I can't take advantage of the full four. A Thopter Spy Network. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which is at the beginning of upkeep, if I have an artifact, I get to put a 1 1 Thopter into play. And then whenever I have an artifact deal damage to a player, I get to draw a card. I need you to kill one of these five things. I know. Things. I'm trying to, like, I wish I, I could. I don't really care any, like, all, any, all of them, please. I genuinely wish I could. <laughs>
Dax duplicate. It, what does this do? Uh, let's me copy a creature on the battlefield that also gets haste and dethrone. And dethrone is whenever you attack the player with the most life, it gets a plus one, plus one. You know what? Let's go Dreadhound. Let's go max craziness. Yeah, let's go. I support that. All right. We, oh, we, we have a Dreadhound. That means every time a creature dies, we take... Yeah, I don't like it. No, nah, that's a lot. Uh, I guess we do have Dreadhound figures to resolve since it does oh, come no. into play as one. <laughs> yeah. So that is a creature. That is not... That is not... So we we take two. We're gonna, we take, we're take yeah. two because there's two dreadhounds. Uh -huh, and I'll take one. And you take uh, one. Power dragon will take one. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're still worried about me, huh? I'm not anymore. Well, oh. I mean, I'm worried about all of you. All right. Yep, and it passed. Okay. There's just it's too many dreadhounds. It is. <laughs> that many. is a lot of dreadhounds. <laughs> two dreadhounds, too many. Some would say. Bouncing it, I mean, it would make the triggers happen when it comes back down, but I worry that, like, that actually, like, slowing them down so they can't do other things is probably still better. Right, right. All right, here's what we do. Uh, we'll start so simple. I'm actually going to minus two Wandering Emperor to exile a target tapped creature and gain two life. <laughs> So, Xenagos? No, no, no! I'm, how am I going to help you? <laughs> wow! Xenagos? Wow. Xenagos is going to fix this. <laughs> oh, is he? No, don't. It's how how's he going to fix it from exile? Did y'all see it's how gonna fast? Make, it's going to make him hit very, very oh. hard. Please. <laughs> One turn. It's not coming to you. Oh, it looks like he's going to exile. All right, all right. That's your funeral. That's your funeral. I'll wow. You life. <laughs> that's a problem. Did y'all see how fast that turned? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a benevolent man. And he other needed that Xenagos. Other people deserve life too. Uh, veggie, mm -hmm. I'm gonna exile the Dreadhound. Hey, that's you know you'll gain you'll gain six life. That's fair. Yeah. yeah, six life. Yeah, but that's you know one less Dreadhound off the field. Speaking of targets, Teferi has a target. Yeah, uh, he's gonna minus three himself. Let's put your duplicate third from the top. Seems good. Huh? Seems good. Now we Dreadhound got gone. Mm -hmm. It's not coming back as a Dreadhound. We're all welcome. Third from the top. <laughs> third from the top. Yeah. All right. Now that I know that you could kill both Dreadhounds. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because I was about to do player removal Whoa. to get rid of one of the Dreadhounds. Oh, <laughs> damn. So this will also Whoa. work. <laughs> now I can't, though. Oh, so. uh, well, knowing that. Well, I can't now. <laughs> yeah. It's, the Xenagos was the whole thing. Oh, but it sure sounds like he had something up his sleeve. <laughs> um, what? Xenagos gives haste. I had a, a big idiot. Okay, but how big of an idiot do you have <laughs> that's going to... All right, uh, I, I still got other things I can do, by the way. Go for uh, it. I'm going to minus one Amanatu. Well, I'm going to uh, exile one of my other permanents and bring around back. It's going to be Teferi. Yeah. And Teferi's yeah. going to come right on back. We'll, uh, we'll minus three to tip Teferi. Mm -hmm. Bring him down to one. But I get to put another non-land permanent third from the top. I think I'm, I think I'm actually going to target Grist. The shock. <laughs> I mean. Betrayal. Actually, that's totally fair. Yeah. I, was, I, was, yeah, I was like, I, was like, I think I know where this is going. Yeah. All right, yeah, All right. and I'll just bring Chris back to the command zone. Sure. All right. I, I do have something called, um, what is Ristic Study? Uh, so whenever an opponent casts a spell... Just so we don't have to worry about pain. Ah! You, you, can, you can... I will just... <laughs> literally... Power Dragon is the hero. <laughs> I've been, I've been sitting this for. I'm like, what am I actually going to counter with this? I'm like that. That is what we're going to counter with. This. I, <laughs> so Swan Song will counter that and give you a two-two bird. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Have you had that since your opening hand? Yeah. It was so <laughs> like there's been, I'm like, ah, that's fine. It can go. And whatever. there's been a couple of things. I'm like, nope, that one. That's the no. one we want to get. You're tapped out now, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So no more shenanigans from you? Oh, no. Fantastic. Because <laughs> I'm not done. I also have uh, Search for Escanta. Mm -hmm. That's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I am going to tap out because I got another enchantment. Confounding Conundrum. So when Confounding Conundrum enters the battlefield, I get the draw card. But then whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if you've already had a land enter the battlefield under your control, you have to return one of your lands back to your hand. That's my turn. All right. So now you guys will see what I possibly could have done. Power Dragon. Oh, you're, tapping all of it. You're, you are not dead thanks to... Thanks to <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, no. And yet you counter my Ristic study? <laughs> that was about to be way bad for us. You have no flyers, right? No. Fantastic. So we're going to play Old Gnawbone. Oh my seven. goodness. <laughs> and he doesn't get... Uh, he gets haste from the ryth uh, Rhythm of the Wild. Oh, that would have been awesome. He's not going to get twice as much power to give me the treasures to then hit exactly. you and then cast Miss Hibu and then throw them at you. <gasps> oh, <laughs> not 
Oh. Not just that, but oh. you've been able to pay for that too. And that. Yeah. yeah. I have denied you this. You have. I, uh, <laughs> I am the baddie. <laughs> but we still get some stuff. So uh, unfortunately, because you're the only person with no, some totally flyers, understand. you do. Uh, I am coming across for 11. 11. All right. I go down to 21. Which could have been uh, 18 treasure tokens, <laughs> which is God. definitely enough for me to cast Minsk and Boo and do all the things. But uh, I'll, I'll settle awesome. for 11. All right. So. Old Gnawbone looks kind of scary, right? But I have a couple things I can copy it. And if we copy the Old Gnawbone and we get to attack, that's a lot of artifacts that come into play. And that Fire Weaver might get pretty close to ending things. Remember when she complained about not having enough lands? <laughs> <laughs> we know what that's like. <laughs> I will pay four and go down to seven treasures. It's my turn to play a commander. We're going to do Minsk and Boo. When he comes into play, if I don't own a Boo token, I get to put one onto the battlefield. For plus one, I put three plus one plus one counters on the creature. It gets Trample and Haste. And for minus two, I can sacrifice a creature. When you do, Minsk and Boo uh, deals X damage to any target where that is the creature's power. If the sacrificed creature wasn't Hamster, I draw X cards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that would have been so amazing. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. Go down to two treasure tokens. Whoop. And I'm going to play a workshop war chief, which I've already oh, had my goodness. combat step. So I'm just going to put a plus one, plus one counter on it. And uh, when he enters the battlefield, I gain three life uh, plus Minsk and Boo. Put him up to four. And we are going to put two counters on two. Well, it has to be Boo, right? It's the only... Or no, well, the Workshop War Chief does have Trample. Workshop War Chief has Trample. Right now, Old Gnawbone has Haste. Well, I think I might want to diversify anyway, especially because the insects just kill him. Got to diversify your bonds. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put three counters on to Boo. Because <laughs> also, if I throw Boo, I draw that many cards, right. which is yeah. pretty pretty good. Pass the turn. I think I've done enough. Don't tap. I just got a bunch of bugs. could have had From seven more <laughs> I would have thrown it at him. <laughs> no. I'm upset at myself. All right. I'm with you on this. I suck. I forgot Genesis again. <laughs> you said the same thing on top of your graveyard that time. It's fine. I actually, I, I think that works out for me because I, I needed, I need all the mana. I will play a forest. Then I'm getting, going to recast Grist for five. I could try to make more insects. That's kind of your thing. It is kind of my thing, but I, I also have a free. I have a free kill on any creature or planeswalker that I want. Or anything. oh, what the the giant dragon or the the, the, the these boo are or these the, are no threat. Right. right. I just got. I, just I stick something. a bee in the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, the planeswalkers are probably more of the issue. There, there is a trample rhino over there. I just put a bee. Also, in not a problem. Yeah. It's, it's a bee. Still tramples. Is it then? Is it a bee? <laughs> 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 He's allergic to bees. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to do this because uh, I, I think it's cool. Okay. And uh, one, two, three, to cast Foot Bottom Feast. Put any number of target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library, then draw a card. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so do I have Chain Whirler here. in this deck? Because I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I do. Oh, boy. This is going to be tough. It's 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 not... It's not too, too bad, uh, but I'm going to put uh, one, two, three, four, five creatures on top of my library. Um, so then I'm going to, I will draw a card. And now I'm going to plus one Grist. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Seems good. That's how you do it. Gross. Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, Phantom Nantuko. Look at that. Uh, we're going to... Plus uh, one for a And we're going to take a left. No, if, oh, that's right. We're not. Not, not this time. <laughs> no, you're welcome. <laughs> and then we do it again. An insect and, oh, it's a null mage advocate. <laughs> yep, that's going to go up. Uh, so we're going to do it again. Hey, look, it's Nantuka Vigilante. This is where we just play uh, yakety yep. sax while he just like flips <laughs> the first unit from his library. It's going to go to seven. We're going to do it again. So lunch but, break? Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. Caustic wasps. Yep, that's going to go oh, uh, my gosh. up to eight. We got five insects. For the next one, it's a fabled passage. Okay. So that will stop there. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's just so satisfying. I'll use my last one to skull clamp one of the new insects to draw two cards. Kill a bee. 
I could kill a bee. I feel like they've been around long enough. I still think the best thing for me right now is just to hang out, so I will pass the turn. Fair. And I will need to discard. Involving wilds, a symbiotic beast. I have a feeling I'm dead soon. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cast Molten Psyche. Uh, each player shuffles the cards from his or her hand into his or her library and draws that many. And because I have metal craft, opponents lose life equal to the number of cards. We'll shuffle okay. Yeah. for us. Okay. So I have one left. Yeah, fantastic. Ow. Those were two not helpful cards. I had one very helpful card and then like four duds, so I'm like, okay with this. <laughs> yeah. My hand had some decent stuff in it. The most notable was the Groog Primal Hunter, which I was gonna use to draw a ton of cards, but at least this way, maybe I can draw some extra lands. I had Triumph of the Hordes in my hand, which is probably my best win condition. I don't know how I'm going to pull off a win here without that card. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think this might be the most fun I've had in a game of Commander. <laughs> this is, this <laughs> is the same time. <sighs> All right, and then everybody takes damage equal to how many right. drew? For me, it's only two, so that's nothing. Uh, also realize, during my upkeep, we forgot to put a Thopter into play, mm, okay. because I did control artifacts, mm -hmm. <laughs> which right. will also do a point of damage to everybody. Okay. Yep. All right. Probably just plus one and make another servo, so I think we're just going to put counter. We'll just let this represent three servos now, and deal an additional point. I got yours, Veggie. Thanks. And I'm going to play an Is It Locket to deal an additional point from oh the fire gosh. room. Hey, Veggie. Yes. You have right. 30 life. I do. Would you mind letting me through with one servo? <laughs> oh, because you want to draw a card. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say no. He made you discard like your valuable card. Don't let it. But happen. I reloaded his hand with wonderful things. Maybe. I'm worse. assuming they're wonderful things. I'm hoping they're wonderful things. Veggie seemed upset. <laughs> I also have monstrous, and you have seven cards in hand, so just be careful. Extra damage is important. I, I, I let's clarify. Are you saying that that's a thing that's happening? No, no. no. I'm, I'm saying if your life total is low, you will, like potentially could take seven more. That's eight. That's a lot. I'm just saying extra every point helps. Um. <laughs> all right. Here's my deal. Okay. If you if I let this through, then you need to remind me to use Genesis. In my <laughs> that's actually that's actually legit. That is that is fair. <laughs> That is totally fair. And, and if I forget, I will let you, whatever you want to attack me with gets to come through. Okay. Okay. That seems That's like a, a fair exchange. All right. I will attack you with one servo. I am also at 30 life. You could have asked me. I, I think we need to partner over here. I don't know. All these planeswalker shenanigans. That's fair. I would scary. not have let you through. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I do not block. I will take one I will damage. draw my one card. And that is, oh, actually, mm, yeah, that's it. Let's untap. So at my upkeep, I do have a search for Ezkanta trigger. Let me look at my top card in my library, and I can put it into my graveyard, which I will. It was a planes. Fair. And then I draw for turn. It was also a planes. I have felt scared this entire game from, like, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I was being honest when I told you I didn't have much. Like, but it got bad. It, it, it still does uh, not, not look good over there. <laughs> I'm just hugging I mean, and bugging. I have a blocker for a dragon now. I mean, like, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I just drew Cyclonic Rift, and casting it would be really, really good. But the thing is, all I can do after that is what? Like, five damage? And then I know everyone's going to hate me more, probably. Well, first thing, we're just going to plus one to fairy so I get the draw card. Sure. And on my end step, I'll get to untap two lands. I'm going to minus two the emperor to exile another target tapped creature. So, um, Gnawbone, I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. Oh, I was actually kind of hoping it would live so I could copy the Gnawbone. Oh. Because <laughs> we know what the next card is. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, no, because I shuffled. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh, I shuffled okay. oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah. My plan the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Do I feel bad? I don't think I feel bad. Why would I ever feel bad? Oh, at this stage of the game, do whatever you want to do. You like, all we, had it coming. We've had plenty of time. It just, it's for seven mana, that's uh, overload cost. I'm going to cast Cyclonic Rift. One song. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> return target non-land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. But I overloaded it. So it's each non-land permanent yep. I don't control to its owner's hand. God, I hate that card. 
Wow, even my like land source. I'm still uh, on three land. Oh am my I god. Going to put Sahili oh, no. in the command zone, or do I want to try to cast? Him? Yeah, Gris definitely going back to my hand. So here's the thing. Even though I did all that right now, I can do five damage. Well, that's the only good news. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm back to three land, so this is real rough for me. That actually <laughs> is really rough for you. <laughs> actually, now we have to take back all the fun we were making of you. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, honestly, yes. That's... <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to combat and deal some damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do a whopping... A whopping five. Uh, uh, veggie, you got the most life over there, and I know you got bees in your hand, so we'll do we'll do five to you. A whole handful of bees. Yeah. The good news is now we have a clearly identified baddie. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Like we weren't sure Honestly. before with the board states. Now we know. I was <laughs> bro, <he's> pretty sure. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna plus one. I'm gonna not to draw a card and then put a uh, card on top of my library. All right. Yep, just gonna put that right back on top, and uh, that's my turn. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I had my end step. I'm sorry, with Teferi, I get to untap two lands. <laughs> you may go. I'm gonna untap my three lands. Uh, I'm gonna play a forest. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I drew them from the redraw. Is what happened. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and cast the Fertile Ground. We're gonna cast it onto my mountain, and I will use that to recast Elysian Carotid, and the last for a Lana War Elf. Six, seven, eight, I'll go to discard. I'm gonna discard a mountain and the Renata. Can I go to draw my card? Which will be okay. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, let you get how close before you draw. Setting the something. board, the deal <laughs> still stands. Yep. What a gentleman. Yep, the deal still stands, <laughs> even though I can't be attacked with anything. I'm at least gonna hold up my end of the bargain. You even were better, gonna forget. I don't need to use it because I have really <laughs> in my hand, so I'm not gonna activate. Best deal you ever made. It is. Yeah, it was a brilliant deal. <sighs> One, two, four, an arcane signet. One, two, three, four, a grist. Let's see, still got four mana available. Uh, I'm gonna pay one. Scoop mob. It's a one, one. <gasps> yeah. By the beginning of my upkeep, if I control five or more lands, I put four plus one plus one counters on it. Oh, I thought that was the other one. And unlike some of us, I do have five or more lands. So uh, it's gonna get those counters. You didn't deserve that one. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm gonna plus grist. I make my insect mill one skylasher. Uh, that is an insect, so okay. Gonna go to another token plus one for grist. Drown yard temple. Uh, it just taps for colorless, but I can pay three to return it from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped, and it is in my graveyard. Play a forest, and then tap that forest to play a skull clamp. And I think I'm just gonna chill there. I don't need to do anything else past turn. All right. Fire Weaver's back. We'll play a land. We'll play Signet to deal one to everybody. Mm-hmm. We'll play Locket to deal a damage to everybody. And we will play Opal <laughs> to damage everyone, and then I will recast Tribute Mage. We will get an Isochron Scepter. Oh! <laughs> what does that do? Uh, I can put a spell under imprint. It costs two or less. Instant, actually. And I can pay two and tap it, and I can copy the imprinted spell. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Forever. Mm. Forever. Mm. Mm. That mm. seems bad. Mm. And that is my turn. Alrighty. Uh... At my upkeep, I get my search for Kanta trigger, so I get to look at the top card of my library, which is a polluted delta, which is going to go right into the graveyard, which Bloody is one, duty. two, three, four, five, six. That's seven cards, so I get to transform this guy. As if you needed more of an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, y'all rebuilt pretty decently, all things considered, after mm-hmm. uh, getting rifted. Yeah, all three of us have yep. mm-hmm. rebuilt very decently. <laughs> yeah. My board looks almost the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sure does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, first thing first, let's, uh, let's plus one my Teferi to draw a card. 
And I'll get to untap two lands at my end step. Maybe we can mill him. From there, I think it's, I'll just do a little bit of combat. Uh, just a little bit of combat. Yeah, just a little bit of combat. That's a treat. You don't have any flying bugs or nothing? Right now, I do not. Okay. You basically barely exist. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> so I guess what we'll that do That wouldn't even is, uh, shade. That was like the whole tree. <laughs> like, well, like, like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have Misk and Boo out to be throwing Boo around. Uh, you'll get a bird. You'll, g- you'll get a bird. And then, uh, Nerd Girl, you're going to get a Felidar Guardian. So a 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 and a 1-4. I take the 1. <clears throat> Take two. Oh, look at those life totals. Big swings. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. See? We'll be tapping four mana for a um, Panharmonicon. It's an artifact that says anytime a creature enters the battlefield, if it would cause an ability to get triggered, it gets triggered an additional time. Yeah. Because I actually have something else to play. Um, it's a little guy known as the, um, the Soul Herder. No, oh, it's no. only a one-one. <sighs> but whenever a creature is exiled from the battlefield, mine or yours, it gets a plus one plus one counter. And at my end step, I get to exile another target creature I control and return it to the battlefield. Plus plus one Amanatu. She still has things to do. Do draw a card, put one back on top, and we'll, we'll put that one right back there. Okay. End step. First things first. Teferi allows me to uh, untap two lands. Uh, mm-hmm. You know what? I think just to make sure that there's not a whole bunch of ridiculous things you that happen. You wouldn't. With that trigger on the stack, I'm going to cast Putrefy, destroy target artifact or creature. Hmm. I That's mean, a decision. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Hmm. I would kill the hmm. soul harder. I think we still have some time. I'm going to target Panharmonicon. Okay. Okay. In response? No! <laughs> I'm just gonna cry a little bit. Oh. <laughs> it would have been cool! I know! I, 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 I you know. remember that time I, I just... had a cool thing that you wouldn't let happen? Not I, no, not really. <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. All Man, right. that putrefy felt like that meme with the two red buttons and the dude sweating. <laughs> like that's, that's, what that, that's what that felt like, looking at the board like, what do you kill? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right. then it ends up uh, Teferi gets untapped a couple lands here. I'll do that. <laughs> and also at end step, Soul Herder allows me to exile another creature and bring it right on back. So, ah, it's so much less cool now. But I know. I, I like, I do feel for you. I, I do, because that would have been the, the, so such yeah. a satisfying thing. Right. But it does make me happy that I denied you <laughs> <Yeah>. doing that. <laughs> Fair. All right. Uh, we'll blink Feldar Guardian. Which will come back back in. Soul Holder will get a plus one plus one counter. Mm-hmm. Fellow Guardian, uh, we're, we're actually are gonna blink the Baleful Strix because you know what? At this point, I just I think I need more cards in my hand no, more than sense. another two two flyer. But Soul Holder will get another plus one plus one counter off of that blink. Let me draw a card. And that's my turn. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go two, three, four, five. And I'm going to play a Storm Breath Dragon. And because uh, I now have a four CMC creature, this will tap for two. So we'll go uh, four mana total for Minsk and Boo. They will come in with a little Boo token and three loyalty. And I'm going to go ahead and minus two to throw the Boo at... The Baleful Strix oh, for one oh, damage. Oh, yeah. And because it's a boo, I get to draw one based on its power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, in there response to that. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I'm going to tap three and activate Search for Ascanta to look at the top four cards in my library and maybe find a thing to protect my Baleful Strix. Oh, why did I blink it? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you shall learn the tragedy of your arrogance from putting tragic arrogance into my hand. Oh. What does that do? Tragic arrogance. Uh, for each player, I choose from among the permanent that player controls an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker. You sacrifice the rest. Uh, and then I got nothing else after that, so Baleful Strix will right. take one damage from Boo. So I'll draw a card. And die. 
And then I'm gonna go into the red zone with the Storm Breath Dragon. The question is, is which, uh, which Planeswalker do I like the least? My heart tells me Teferi. What do you think, Power mm. Dragon? Teferi is giving extra cards. However, yeah. he can get extra cards anyway now with Search for Escanta. Well, it's a third less cards yeah, right, per well, turn. Like. That is true. <laughs> it, um. All right, we're going into the red zone. Teferi's the target. I have no blocks. All right, please don't kill Minskin. Well, I guess, yes, it's fine. Then I'll pass my turn. All right, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm gonna give you this for free. Check your graveyard. <laughs> you wow. now owe me one. Wow. I'm, I'm making a deposit in the Bank of Veggie <laughs> for a future consideration. I don't need it because Fair. Uh, things in my hand, but noted. <laughs> noted. Um, so yes, the, the Genesis does trigger, but I'm not going to use that. Uh, Scoop Mob also triggers, and I am going to put four plus one plus one counters on it to make it a five five. I'm going to play a Moss Wart Bridge. Uh, it has Hideaway, so it enters the battlefield tapped. When I it does, I look at the top four cards of my library. I exile one. I can pay one and tap it to play the exile card without paying its cost if I have creatures with total power 10 or greater. Hmm. Man, if the bugs have like an overrun. The card I hid, Patriarch's Bidding. This might be the thing to change the tide. Sorry, what was that face? It was, uh, 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 lands again. <laughs> Everybody can die at any point now. Right. Like, like the life total is getting so low. I will pay one uh, to Skull Clamp an Insect to draw two cards. I will plus Grist. We're going to go to six. Oh, man. Here we go. All right, so get another Insect. Mill. Life from the loam, okay. Not an insect, but relevant. You could have done a lot worse. Target lands. <laughs> yeah, from my graveyard to my hand, uh, and it has dredge, so it being there means I can bring it back. Yeah, I think I think I just also recast Hornet Queen. I'm gonna make four one ones uh, with flying and death touch, and then I'm gonna pay one more mana uh, to Skull Clamp, one of the non Hornet Queen insects, to draw two cards. So many bugs. So much card draw. <laughs> I I just have a handful of bugs. Like that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. You know. What, we're gonna eat the last insect. Uh, I'm gonna draw <laughs> two more cards. Man, the greed factor. Yeah. Like I need all the cards. Um, I will pass to my end step. Um, and I'm gonna have to discard some cards. Nessie and Horn Beetle. Uh, and then to go tracer. Uh, saber ants. Saber ants. I appreciate going deep there. Right. With some insects. <laughs> yeah. <I like> that. <laughs> and Vorapede. All right. Yes. Whew. Let's pay for. We're going to recast Sahili. And we're going to go up to five to make a servo. Deal a damage. E Ooh. Oh, wrong direction. And then I'm going to pay six to make a shimmer dragon has flying five six as long as i control four or more artifacts which i do it has hex proof and then i can tap two untapped artifacts to draw a card i was trying to see if i was going to get on any chip damage maybe but really can't do much there so i'm going to pass okay first things first what's plus i'm not to draw a card put one back on top i guess all i can say is has your arrogance taught you nothing <laughs> you knew I had tragic arrogance in my hand, yet you all cast and played things, and now you shall be punished for this. I get to choose from all your stuff, one creature, mm -hmm. one artifact, one planeswalker, and one enchantment. Anything I don't choose, you sacrifice. I'm going to draw a card. Any yep. objections? Yeah, not to that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll start over here. Um. Uh, so these are the three things you would lowest power the three things. So these would be the two creatures. I would like to say if you keep the storm breath dragon and don't keep a flyer, that would be pretty cool. Are you making my decisions for me? No, I'm, I'm just laying out your <laughs> options. I'm just laying out the options. Here's my weakest creature. Uh -huh. But if you keep the storm breath dragon, I could probably kill either one of them. Cause like veggie will take seven cause he has seven cards in hand. When I monstrous it, he won't have a flyer anymore, uh -huh. and then I can okay. dome him for more. Sure. Him. Right. And how can I trust that's going that direction and not suddenly turning towards me? Because you have a bird. You'll just block it. 
Uh, I'm only going to have one creature at the end of this because I have to choose myself as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. But I mean, oh yeah, I am also arrogant. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that, that, I mean, th th I'm just laying out your options. Those okay. Are the, these are the three things: mm -hmm. low impact. Okay. That's, that's fascinating. <laughs> huh. I'm putting a lot of trust in you for this. Whoop. Like a lot of trust. All right. So uh, I'm going to say you get to keep your Minskin Boo. Uh, you're going to keep get to keep your dragon. And the fertile ground. And your fertile ground. But your two little mana dorks, they got to die. They're dorky. Okay. They're gone. All right. Over here. One of your 1-1 one, one insects. Oh, my God. Thanks. You may keep your arcane signet. And Grist also gets to How stay generous. Uh, everything else, though. <laughs> if you want me to kill Veggie, you got to keep the ground guy. Mm, that's a fascinating decision. I did not realize you were out of ground creatures. Huh. Because these fly, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. fly and this flies. Well, I, I suppose I'll, I'll allow you to keep the scoot mob because having your death touch flyer seems like the, the, the best thing we can do for each other. You're welcome. <laughs> They're making deals, so can we. Hey, my deal was just so we got to draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my deal was, hey, remind me of this thing I'm never going to use anyway. And then uh, over here, uh, you may keep Tribute Mage, Sahili, the Mox Opal. Sure. Okay. Everything else can go. Makes and sense. for myself, I have to choose myself as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep Amanatu, Soul Herder, Arcane Signet, and Confounding Conundrum. Everything else gets sacked. See, I can pseudo board wipe myself too. Now, I, I really like what you got going on with this dragon because that sounds super threatening. Um, but I also know at some point, at any point, <laughs> it can just easily turn towards me. It's just insurance. We'll call it an insurance policy. <laughs> okay. So He's going to give it. Uh, I'm going to cast Reality Acid. It has vanishing and comes in with three counters. And in each one of my turns, I remove one of those counters. When all those counters are gone, your dragon dies. Oh, mm -hmm. that's an interesting insurance policy. Yes. So you may have it for a little bit. For a little bit, okay. You know, as a treat. I assume Minsk and Boo is part of your plan. I have no plan. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just told me you were gonna kill Veggie in like a turn. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. By, so when, when I, when, so, so, the, so the plan is only Storm Breath Dragon. When he monstrouses, everybody uh -huh. takes damage based on the cards in their hand. Okay. So he takes seven. Got it. And then I'm going to hit him with eight in the uh -huh. air. And that's like pretty close to dead. Sure. That that was the plan. Pretty close to dead isn't actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty good plan, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> uh, dang. I'm gonna go to combat. <laughs> I hit Minsk and Boo for three. Okay. Well, then now he's not gonna go to one. That's totally okay. Man, the negotiate. The, the, we have renegotiated the terms of this, this deal. Yeah. Like, I mean, I yeah. So I, my my plan was to monstrous. Yeah. Uh, and then Minsk and Boo to plus, and then attack at Veggie to one. Sure. Uh -huh. I don't know why you need to kill me. I think it's like... I, I was going to kill whoever you wanted. I, mm. Whoever you. I wanted. Uh -huh. I, that's, that was a, that's literal what I said. <laughs> Arcane Signet and Rafine's Tower. I'm just going to put down my Demir Signet. All right. I'll end my turn. I don't know why you got to make everything so difficult. Nobody's going to be able to... We, are we, like, roughly on the same team at this point? Oh, I don't have anything to do with it. What did that happen? Like, what? My <laughs> stuff's way weaker than their stuff, so, yeah. Well, you did kill Boo, so I feel like that was pretty rude, and you didn't really stick to the plan, so... There was no plan! <laughs> I, there was a plan, I told it to you, and then you were unhappy with the deal. I assume Minsk and Boo is part of your plan? I have no plan. No, you know, he said, he asked if Boo was part of the plan, and I said, no, the plan was the monstrous and attack, getting Veggie to one. Oh. We're going to go for six mana, and I'm going to play a combustible gear hulk. Ooh. It's a 6-6 six, six first striker that says when it enters the battlefield, I choose an opponent. That opponent will decide whether I mill three or draw three. If they choose mill three, they take damage based on the total number of CMC for those three cards. I'm going to choose Power Dragon. An unknown amount of damage in Gruel Beats. I wouldn't recommend it. Fair. Or or three Fair. cards. I am tempted to gamble, but I'm just going to give you three cards, actually. All I right. Think, I think that's the way we go here. It's probably just three lands anyway, on account you have to them. <laughs> also true. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the whole plan has gone to hell, so Aminatu's taken four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to discard a forest and on my end step and go to seven and I will pass the turn. I'm going to continue to ignore Genesis in my graveyard. I'm going to put four counters on Scoot Mob. I'm going to draw my card and I'm going to attempt to win the game. I haven't done all of the math, but I 
don't care. I'm going to cast Sir Conrad the Grim. Oh. Yeah. Uh, five, four, whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad deals one damage to each opponent. Pay one, two, three to cast Balaged Recovery. Return to return from your card. hand? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to target Grave Purge, which will allow me to put any number of target creature cards from my graveyard on top of my library. Cast Grave Purge. All right. Well, you only got to have 19 to kill me. Okay. Okay. You're, you only have 15 bugs, I'm pretty sure. But don't we... Wait. So I'm going to put... Doesn't Conrad say when it also leaves the graveyard? It sure does. Yeah, so we're going to take so, damage twice. Oh. Yeah, you're going to yeah. take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage to each opponent now. Then I'm going to plus 1 Grist. Yep. So... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make an insect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> eleven times. Yeah, you, you can flip it first eleven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, and then overwhelming stampede Ooh. will will end it. All right. Well, I am dead. Dead. Take eleven, right? Uh-huh. I will also take 11. Bam. <laughs> okay. Cool way to go out, though. I'm not even upset dying. Also, yeah. Gris just is up to, like, what, 18 loyalty now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And then I'll go to combat. Hello. And swing nine at Progeric. You sure do. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh. Like, unsummon? Maybe. Unsummon? Oh, if only. Oh. <laughs> well done. The bugs won. You did the thing. Well done. Oh, I'm not even, like, that's a cool way to finish. Yeah. Like... <laughs> If I had just not attacked with the soul herder at the end, I could have at least had a blocker for veggie, but I, that was such a good ending. I can't even be mad about it. That was actually a hell of a lot of fun. I had a little bit of a slow start, but we got a lot of damage in. And honestly, the way we ended the game was actually pretty sweet. That's not something you get to see too often. So yeah, that was probably the most fun I've had in a while. I felt like I got some big threats on the board, but I always felt like I was kind of playing catch up and trying to like knock down threats. So I don't think we really got there, but my deck did some cool stuff. (laughs) We did it. The meme won. I don't need to win another game ever for the rest of my life. Bug life. Thank you guys for joining us for another amazing Commander game. As a special treat, we actually have a trailer for our next episode. But before we check it out, we're going to go ahead and introduce you to our sponsors. Cool Stuff Inc. is the best place to get anything from sealed product to singles. And make sure that you use code DGEN at checkout for 5% off your order. If you need a little deck building inspiration, head to edhrec.com where you can find all the synergies to match your budget and style. Now that you've got your deck list, you're going to need to head over to Dragon Shield, where they've got everything you're going to need to get into the game. Be sure to use the links in the description to let them know we sent you. And if you'd like to support us more directly, head on over to our Patreon, where you can unlock a ton of cool perks and become a part of the show. And of course, if you liked the video, make sure to hit like. And if you really liked it, make sure to hit subscribe. But now it's time for a sneak peek for our next episode. First things first. No. Don't let the green shell hit you on the way past. But don't worry, you won't have to worry about the spiky one because it only goes for the person in first place. (laughs) That's 60 life too much for you guys. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) I don't know how I missed a booty that big. How much longer can she possibly keep this up? Kids got alligator blood. Maybe I'll get invited back again. (laughs) Probably not. No.